Hello guys, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we are going to see how, how we can write a Python script by using which we can launch an EC2 instance. So uh, let's get started. So uh, as we want to write Python script to launch an EC2 instance, you have you need to make sure that you have a AWS account, you have AWS CLI installed on your machine and you have AWS Boto3 installed on your machine. So the prerequisite that you require before performing this uh, script, you can find it over here. I will uh, paste the link of my official blogging website where you can see. So if I click on this, over here I have clearly mentioned what all is required as a prerequisite and if you want to install AWS CLI you can uh, click over here it will take you to the official AWS uh, page and if you want uh, to install Porto 3 it will take you to the official page over here. Now uh, let's get started uh, by uh, using Porto 3 documentation to launch our EC2 instance. So uh, before going to Porto 3 let's open our uh, editor in this I will create a new python file. I will keep the name as ec2 underscore launch underscore it. Okay. Now, as this is created, now let's go to the official documentation for ec2 photo 3. So, over here, if you go to the official documentation, it will show you what all steps we need to follow uh, to use the methods that are all that are the inbuilt methods provided by the Boto3 libraries over here. So now we are going uh, to the launch instance, but before launching the instance, first we are going to copy this code from here. So we will copy this, go back over here and paste. Now, once you do this, after that, what we have to do is we need to understand uh, which is the right method that we are going to use to launch our EC2 instance. So in our case, we are going to launch EC2 by uh, using the method run underscore instances. So if I click over here, run underscore, so this is the method. Now when I click on this method, it will take you to the page, okay? So in this page, you can see what kind of a request syntax you can put. So what do you mean by request sentences? Uh, over here, you can run this method and in this method, you can specify this specific parameters, okay? So if you see, these are the list of parameters. There is image ID, instance type and everything. So they have given you options also that what kind of instance you want to uh, create and everything. So if you see the list is, never ending it's a it's a long list you can say okay this is having some indentation issue okay now what you need to understand is see these are the parameters which have been defined above so each and every information is given over here so now the data type of this specific parameters that you're going to mention it it is also mentioned over here that block device would be a list device name would be a string a virtual name would be a string so this is how you need to understand which are the dictionaries what are the data types of the parameters that you're going to use over here now in this there is one more important thing see min count and max count if you see these are required what do you mean by required when you're going to invoke this method you have to make sure that you mention the min count and max count to launch an ec2 instance if you don't mention it it is not going to launch an ec2 instance so now let's go and launch our ec2 instance so over here i will copy this Now let's start mentioning the parameters over here. So we can start with 
image ID. Image ID is equal to first. We will use image ID, then we can take instance type. Then we will use the required parameters. Let's go to the required parameters. Min count This is the max count And the last parameter we are going to use is the key name. As we have mentioned this specific parameters over here so we are going to fill in the image ID so to find the image ID you can go to your AWS console Here you can use launch a virtual machine so suppose as I have to as I want to use this one, so in this scenario, I can use the AMIS ID. So for different one, there are different AMI IDs. So you can uh, choose as per your requirement. So which AMI ID you would require as per free tier or as per the other requirements that you have. So in my case, I am going to select the AMI ID over here. As image ID instance type let's go to the documentation once again it's mentioned over here the instance type we will take to micro min count one max count one you can change it as per your requirement and I have my key name as custom VPC. Make sure you provide your specific key name over here. Okay. Now, as this is done. So now when we will run this code, this code is uh, going to give in return the information. So what would be the return syntax that we can see over here? So this is the request syntax. So this is what we are requesting. Now we will see what is going to be returned. See, this is the response syntax. So when your program is going to uh, complete successfully, so this is what you are going to get as part of your return response, which is going to get stored in a response. Now, to print the instances that we are that we have created, what we can do, we can route write a for loop. Now, how we are going to write a for loop over here? So for that. We will do for for instance in response and 
we will use print instant id created is instance i is So that's it. So this is the code that we're going to write. Now, uh, the, you might be wondering that what is this instance ID and uh, from where we are getting this instance type that I will demonstrate you and how you can check it properly. So that is a very important thing. So this we are actually fetching it uh, from the response that we are getting in this response. So I will show you how we are fetching it. First, let's run this program. Before running this program, I will show you that currently in my machine, I don't have any EC2 instances running. Okay. So see, nothing is running. So this is in terminate state. Okay. So we will ignore this. So let's go back to our code and we are going to run it. Okay, so we got some errors over here. Let's see what are the errors. So as per the code, the error that we are getting, what it is saying that it is an invalid type. What do you mean by invalid type? If I go back to the code over here. So the min count and max count is an integer and over here I have mentioned it as a string. That is the reason I'm getting this error. So I will go back to our code. Instead of using it as string, I will mention it as integer. And this should solve our error. Now let's go back. Instance Now let's run the code once again. Let me clear it. Okay. So if, as you can see, our instance ID got created. Okay. There is a T2 micro which got created. So let's go back to our console. And if you see over here in instances, if I refresh this, there is a new EC2 instance which is getting launched. So now, if you change this to 2, it will launch two EC2 instances. Okay. Now, what we are going to see is, let's print the response that we are going to get. So, I will keep it as same one. So this time it will again uh, launch a new EC2 instance. So now if you see there is a one in running state, it will launch one more. So now I will run the code once again. See, 
So this is the response that we got stored in our response variable. I'm copying this in front of you. Now let's go back over here. We can go to JSON viewer, paste our response, and over here I will click on format. Now, as I said, if we go back to our code, we are using the instance ID from so I will search instance ID. You can see. So this is the instance ID that we are fetching. So this this shows you that. So suppose right now I have just uh, instance ID comes. This is a suppose this is a dictionary. In this dictionary, in group, okay. Uh, in instances, instances is a list. So as a part of this instance, what we are going to do is we are going to mention the instance over here, okay. So as a part of the group, what we are going to do, we are traversing from this instances instances is a list this instances we traversed once we traversed from the for loop over here we came inside and after coming inside we are printing the output of instance id and instance type the same way you can print the output for the other things that you want based on your requirement because this is what is the uh, return json which helps you know that what is the dictionary and what is the uh, list from which you have to fetch your data so that's it uh, for this video guys I hope uh, you understood how you can write a simple Photo 3 script, Python script to launch an EC2 instances. Make sure to terminate your EC2 instance, which has been launched over here, uh, which might incur in uh, extra cost. So in front of you, I will also terminate this. Make sure to terminate them. So see you guys for the next lecture. Thank you and have a great day ahead.